Hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick DaVinci Resolve 16 render comparison video between a AMD Ryzen 5 3500U and a classic old i7-4700MQ. Now, this is kind of a bit of an odd video since this is the Ryzen laptop is basically an ultrabook and the competing Intel processor, which is the i5-8250, which is also a quad-core low-voltage processor, um, when I installed this program, as soon as I dragged the video into DaVinci Resolve and clicked anything, the program crashed. I restarted it, I tried multiple times, and the program just, it just crashed. Uh, so I was just wondering what would the results be in rendering a 4K video from a Sony A6300, this is a S-Log2 video. Um, as you can see, both render settings are the same, both computers. The only thing I did to the video in both cases is I went under Lutes and I dragged the S-Log loot over both videos. So that's the only change I made to the videos. Now, for comparison results, the i7 took 16 minutes. This is a three minute long video. And the Ryzen CPU took 29 minutes. Now, 29 minutes may seem kind of like a long time, but just as I said, the Intel CPU in comparison to this wouldn't even, would essentially just crash the minute you try to do anything. So Resolve is working fairly well. It's, it's a little slow when you switch between the main menus, as you saw, but I, I think it's totally, it's, it's really not that bad. And in fact, like this is totally usable. And I just, I really didn't expect a, a Ultrabook with a simple CPU like this, for one, would be even be able to render this video, but really do it in a decent amount of time. Um, the laptop didn't get very hot. You, could, you couldn't hear the fan at all. And you're comparing a 15 watt CPU versus a 47 watt full like i7 quad core processor. And yes, the i7 wins, but it, it, it's just impressive that this Ryzen CPU, if you have to be on the road, you wanna make a simple video, make a few cuts, add a few effects, this will get the job done. And that is really impressive for a laptop or a processor of 15 watt. It, like I said, clearly the i7 is winning, but I just I really didn't expect the results to be this good and that good in comparison to the i7. And just um, yeah, so this is my first AMD in a long, long time since pretty much the Athlon days, and it's very pleasant to see such a result from a tiny Ultrabook versus a. And also, I just want to point out this has eight gigs of RAM with only 5.7 usable. This is because the Ryzen CPU GPU takes up some of the RAM. Um, and not only that, basically DaVinci Resolve was able to run on this amount of RAM and render the video versus a laptop with 32 gigs of RAM and a full processor. So take that how you like, but I just want to show a comparison of two completely different styles CPUs, years apart. So yeah, let me know what you think.